Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the New York Times Hard Sudoku on Juneteenth. And I'll start by putting a four in three spots in row three, box three, based on the positions of two other fours. The digit two can go in row three, but in box one, based on the positions of the digit two in rows one and two. In the middle three rows, uh, four, five, and six, I'll be able to place a one in row five in two spots. Six, seven, eight, two, four, nine, three. Okay, I can place a five actually right there. It puts it down there as a follow on. The bottom rows, I have no repeats. If I look by columns three, four, six, five, one, nine on the left, I can't do anything. On the right, or on the center actually, here's a seven and a five, here's a five and a seven. Both have to go in column four, box eight, and therefore that turns into a five, seven pair. Now what that allows me to do immediately, I need a nine in column four, which can't go here, so it must go there. Uh, this is now the one digit that's left, it must be an eight. Put eight down here. The eight goes up there in column five based on this eight I just placed in that one. Okay, box five now has one, three, four, five, seven, eight. I need, okay, nine ends up here. So it can't go there. So nine ends up here and therefore it must go there. I need two, six, and nine in some fashion. For box five. Now row four, I need three, four, and nine, and that's exactly going to form a triple with two of the digits in question. in the configuration I just described and just laid out. Okay, and be that as it may, those two fours will place a four down here. And on the right, I can place a two in column nine, box nine. Beyond that, I don't think I get anything else, not really. Okay, this middle section of the grid, both the rows, but more importantly, the columns are really what I work on. Column six has four, five, seven, eight placed. I need one, two, three, six, nine. Those cannot be six. And these are gonna be one, three, six, with this not being one, so neither can be two or nine. These two can't be two, four, seven, or nine. So I end up in this configuration here. Column three also looks interesting because I have a lot of digits. Clean this up. Okay. None of those three can be three or four. And this one isn't two. These two can't be two, so this one must be. And I end up with a derived seven and eight pair in column three. So this can't be seven or eight or two, and therefore must be four. That one must be three. So I end up in this configuration. Now box one has two, three, four, seven, eight. I need one, five, six, and nine. The two highlighted cells cannot be nine. This one can't be five. That one, I think, can be anything. Let's see, these are not one, two, seven, or nine in row three, box three, and I can't clean much else up with it.
Those can't be two, five, eight, or nine. Either of those are one or three, and this isn't seven. That doesn't give me much help in box six, does it? And other than five, six, seven, eight, those three highlighted cells at the bottom of column five, all in box eight, I believe can be anything. But here's what that does derive. Six, eight can't go here. Eight goes here. We can't put six in these two. I wish I could, but six could also go in those two cells. Now, well, this is interesting. Four, five, seven, eight are out of these cells. Three, six are also out because six is in the box and three's in this row and three's in this row looking over. Now in this cell, you take out five, six, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You're also left with one, two, nine. What that means is I have a derived one, two, nine triple in the box. Therefore, this can't be one, two, or nine. It must be four. That means that must be three. This one isn't. I've now got three as a forced placement in column six. But nothing else is derived. Let's see, those two cells in column seven cannot be two, three, seven, eight. And this one can't be one, two, three, four, or eight. These can be anything after two. Six, eight, and four, six. There's a possible four, six, eight triple in column eight. I don't think I'll get there. Uh, these cells cannot be three or seven in box nine. Then none of those can be one, two, or nine. None of these can be five. Then I have to look by row to clean the rest of it up. And I don't think I get anything useful. See, these can't be one, three, five. These two can't be four, five, eight, nine. It's down here, but other than that, I don't know anything else, do I? But these can't be three because of the three in column seven. This one. And this one, this one can't be three because of the row six, where a three is. So three must be in one of those two spaces. And because they're both in box six, that uses up the three for column nine. So that's not three, and therefore that's not three. So that means these can't be three, nor is this or that. And so three is now hidden. I think I found this 4 was hidden. I know I found that 9 was hidden. I now have a 1, 5, 6. Whoops. Yeah. Yeah. 
Oh, this can't be six either. That's a four. I just highlighted this cell. Uh, the 8 in the box places the 6. This is 7, 9, which places the 5. I know those are 9. This isn't 7. The 6 in column 8 will place the 4, and we'll actually finish column 8. The 4 in the box will place the 3. Those aren't five. Uh, okay, that places seven in one of two spots. The three in row four will place the nine, and then the four, which places the one in column one. This is a nine. This is forced to be eight, six, three, one in that order. Seven and nine in column three are placed. That place. In column 9, that places 8 and 7 in column 3, which places 2 in column 5, followed by a 9, 1, this must be 6, 7 and 5 go in, 2, 9 is all that's left in column 6, so, this 9 can go in, in column 7, because I have 1, 6 looking at it. But then it's just a matter of unwinding everything. Let's see, neither of those are 7 or 9. And this can't be 4, and so I end up with a 2, 8 in row 4, and now I have enough to clean up. This is 5 and something, 5 and 8. These two cells are 6 and 7, but I can fill them in. These two are 1 and 2, thanks to the 1 in column 2. I can place it, and now it's just a matter of filling in the remaining digits, and I hope you enjoyed this puzzle. Especially since, even with typo mistakes and doing it one-handed, I still finish it in under 13 minutes. And let me know in the comments if you did better than me.